Hey everyone, it's me again, um, Kamar, aka Brave Design 86, and today I'll be doing a chemical peel, a lactic acid peel, um, to be exact. Um, I've been buying it from eBay for a while. I started with the lowest dose, and now I am at a higher one. Um, in this process, I'll be uh, using uh, collagen elastin cream. You can use whichever cream you want after you do your peel and I'll be using a um, cotton little thing to apply the acid and I also made a little bit of uh, baking soda and uh, water um, to kind of neutralize the acid when I'm done I'm sorry I'm a little bit disorganized I guess I'm a typical guy I'm all over the place um, but I use this cream because it you know it helps uh, reduce the signs of wrinkles and enlarge pores um, yeah, you can't see me now. You can only see the doorway because I'm washing my face with light soap. Please do not use any strong soaps. It will only make it hurt more. And uh, I don't scar very well, so I can kind of abuse my skin. But I know a lot of people have sensitive skin, so please do not do that. Um, so after I wash my face with a very soft soap, I go ahead and I dry while well, I towel blot. I don't want to like drag my skin. So let's get straight to it. So here again, lactic acid. Um, you can use salicylic acid or whichever acid you choose. Please consult a dermatologist if you're not sure. I'm just showing you what I do. So I put generous amounts into this cotton thing. I don't remember the name of it, but that's what I'm about to do. Generous amounts. The instruction on the back of this uh, bottle says you're supposed to start at the forehead first and work your way down. I'm assuming because your forehead is a lot less delicate. Um, but I kind of tap in. Now I know a lot of people use brushes to apply it, but I like to do this so I can get that acid in that skin. I'm abusing the hell out of it. So let me just go right ahead and put a whole bunch of it in there. Make sure it doesn't get in your eyes or your mouth because this thing is horrible and it's very sour. It's gotten in my mouth before and it is terrible. So just be very careful. I would advise if you are going to use it, do not pluck your eyebrows within 24 hours. Do not shave within 24 hours because it's going to get in them little breaks in the skin and it's going to hurt even more. As I said, it is acid and it can be a bit painful. I am currently using the 50%. I've used the 10% and the 25% before because my skin was pretty new to it and I didn't want to suffer any adverse effects. I've also read online that it's best to start off with the lower dosage and continue to um, increase your dose as time goes by. So now I'm back after four minutes. So the bottle says four minutes. I used to go five or six when I used 20%, I mean 25% or 10, but now this one is really getting in there and it was bubbling. I felt like I had um, cream and sriracha on my face. Um, so I'm going to wash it off with lukewarm water and then what I started doing, I started using slightly cooler water to kind of, you know, reduce that burn because let me tell you, it burns, um, especially on the cheek area and right next to my nose. So I wash well and then once again, towel blot. Of course, if you look very um, closely, you can see my skin is a little bit irritated from it. But it's not that bad. I've gotten quite used to it. And as I said, my skin has taken quite a beating from other products, which I'll show you guys at another time. Um, then I will go right ahead and I will put that baking soda and distilled water mix into another little spongy thingy. And then I will go right ahead and yeah, soak it up, soak it up, son, soak it up. And then I start gently putting it on, especially in the areas that burn a little bit because I want to neutralize that acid and bring my skin back to where it needs to be in terms of pH level. Um, there may be measurements. I know some people do measurements in terms of how much baking soda to how much water. I'm a typical dude. As I said, I do everything half-assed. Um, so I do... Just put enough baking soda in there where I know it will start making a little pop-pop on my face. Um, not a whole lot though because I already washed off the acid, but I can definitely feel the acid be neutralized and the burning stopping. So after I do that, I wait a little bit, 
until I kind of, I don't know, until the gods or the ancestors tell me to wash it off. And then I go ahead and I wash it off with lukewarm water first, and then I change it to cooler water real quick. And then I go ahead with this towel again, and I slowly dry it off without dragging my skin all over the place. It's not a piece of fabric. I don't need to be grabbing it. Just slowly get that cotton towel to absorb all the fluids and... Oh, that didn't sound too good. Um, but yeah, getting it all dried out and then, oh, my skin is gonna be so happy. So funny thing about this, when you do the peel, it makes your skin a little tight. Oh yeah, there I go, I'm putting the cream on just to moisturize it. Cause yeah, you do need a lot of moisturizer. And oh, make sure to protect your skin from the sunlight for a couple days. Um, use lots of sunblock and keep it well moisturized. Your face will be shiny within a couple hours. If you have oily skin, you're gonna look like you're, you're spilling a whole lot of oil, like tons of barrels fell on that. Um, but that's how it works. It slightly create uh, micro burns on your skin and your skin tightens and Newer, once it peels off, then your tighter skin appears and you have younger, fresher looking skin. I just like doing it because I love to take pictures and I love to look in the mirror. So until next time, peace.